Hi everyone, here is question number five from the AP Calculus AB exam in 2024. And make sure to check out the description below where I've provided a link to College Board where you can see this FRQ along with all of the others. So let's get to it. In question number five, it says to consider the curve defined by the equation x squared plus 3y plus 2y squared equals 48, and it can be shown that dy dx is equal to negative 2x over 3 plus 4y. In part A, it says there is a point on the curve near the point 2, 4 with an x coordinate of 3, and use the line tangent to the curve at 2, 4 to approximate the y coordinate of this point. So I notice it says use the line tangent to. That means I need to write this in point slope form. So I need a point and I need a slope. Well, I already have a point. That's the point 2, 4. Now I need to find the slope at that point. So I need to find dy dx at the point 2, 4. So I would plug in 2 for the x, and then I would plug in 4 for the y, and you can see that this would give us negative 4 over 19. Now I can go ahead and write this point slope form equation of my line because I have the point and I have the slope. So it would be y minus the y coordinate equals the slope times x minus the x coordinate. And I usually like to solve this for y. So I'm going to, oops, I wrote negative 4 over 9. Let's change that to negative 4 over 19. So negative 4 over 19 times x minus 2 and then plus 4. Okay, so there is my equation, the tangent line. Now I want to approximate the y coordinate at the point that has an x coordinate of 3. So now I want to approximate what y of 3 is. And so that would be negative 4 over 19 times 3 minus 2. That's nice because that'll just be 1. So then I have negative 4 and 19 plus 4. And remember, the great thing about an FRQ is you don't have to fully simplify. So if it were me, I would actually go ahead and just leave it like that. I mean, if I do anything, you could think about this being 4 minus 4 19 So I could write it as like 3 and 15 19 But that would be as far as I would go. I'd probably just leave it as negative 4 19 plus 4. All right, on to part B. And part B says, is the horizontal line, y equals 1, tangent to the curve and give a reason for your answer? So the first thing I would do is I would plug in the y value of 1 and see what the corresponding x coordinate is at that point. So I would have x squared plus 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1 squared, and that equals 48, or x squared plus 3 plus 2 equals 48. That would sum to 5, and I'll go ahead and subtract that over. And so then I see that x could be either the positive or negative value of the square root of 43. So essentially, you have two points that would have a y-coordinate of 1, and that would be at the point of root 43, 1, and negative root 43, 1. So now what I want to do is I want to evaluate the derivative at both of those points and see if the derivative is equal to 0. So first, let's find what dy dx is, evaluated at positive root 43, comma 1. And we can see that the numerator would become negative 2 root 43, and the denominator would be 3 plus 4, or 7. Now I notice right off the bat that that slope is not equal to 0. And I think I can already see, likewise, at this point, negative root 43, 1. Plugging that in, that'd be negative 2 times negative square root of 43, which comes out to be positive, and then again, 3 plus 4. So once again, that slope is not equal to 0. So when it says give a reason for your answer, my reason would be, no, the horizontal line y equals 1 is not tangent to the curve because dy dx does not equal 0 at y equals 1. Now on to part C. The curve intersects the positive x-axis at the point root 48, 0. Now is the line tangent to the curve at this point vertical and give a reason for your answer. So let's go ahead and evaluate the derivative. We do a lot of evaluating the derivative in this problem at square root of 48, comma 0. And so I would get 2 root 48 over 3 plus 4 times 0 or negative 2 root 48 over 4. Now we can see here that the slope would be negative, therefore the tangent line would not be vertical. 
And since the problem says to give a reason for your answer, my reason would be no, the tangent line to the curve at the point square root of 48, 0 is not vertical because dy dx is defined at the point root 48, comma 0. And for the tangent line to be vertical, you would want the slope to be undefined. Lastly, part D. For time t greater than or equal to zero, a particle moving along another curve defined by this new equation, and at the instant the particle is at the point 4, 2, the y-coordinate of the particle's position is decreasing at a rate of 2 units per second. So this is looking like a related rates problem to me. So some things I'm going to write down is that I have the point 4, 2. I also see that the y-coordinate of the particle's position is decreasing at a rate of 2, so dy dt would be negative 2. And at that instant, what is the rate of change of the x-coordinate of the particle's position? So it looks like I am looking for dx dt. So I'm going to take the derivative of this new equation, and I'm going to take the derivative with respect to t since I can tell it's a related rates problem. The derivative of y cubed is 3y squared times dy dt. To find the derivative of 2xy, I would need to use the product rule. So I'll treat 2x as my first function and then y as my second function. So let's see, product rule would be 2 times dx dt would be the derivative of the first times the second plus the first function times the derivative of the second and then equal to the derivative of 24 would just be 0. Let's go ahead and plug in what we know. We know that the y-coordinate is 2 at this moment. We know dy dt is negative 2. We don't know dx dt, so we'll go ahead and leave that. There's the y-value of 2 again. Oops, not equals. That's still going to be plus 2 times the x-value of 4. And then again, dy dt is negative 2. Right, doing some simplifying here, this would be negative 24 plus 4 dx dt. This would be minus 16 is equal to 0. Let's move the negative 24 and the 16 over the other side. We have a positive 40, so it looks like dx dt is equal to 10. And that is your answer to part D. So that's it, everybody. That is question number five from the AP Calculus AB exam in 2024. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, make sure to check out the other videos of the other FRQs from 2024. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye.